Okay, this is video number two. Um, we take, once we have processed the insect in potassium hydroxide to soften the exoskeleton and bleach it slightly. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna have to say not all insects have to be processed that way. If they're a very light colored uh, insect, it probably won't have to be, uh, but in most cases they are. So here we have a little beetle here. It's actually a praying mantis. I found a dead praying mantis in the swimming pool. So I took it. Uh, you take a um, dish of water like I have here and you take the insect and you float the insect to the middle of the uh, middle of the um, slide like that. And you pick it up like that. Now, uh, you can spend a lot of time arranging the limbs, etc., etc., with uh, these slides, uh, just for presentation reasons. And um, in this case, I'm not going to spend the time to do that. But what I recommend if you're going to do that is to take a uh, syringe 30 gauge needle with a very sharp point on it and you can actually move the limbs around. You see, you can actually move the limbs around like that. Uh, this is uh, just, there we go. Like that, just for presentation purposes like that. Um, that's not exactly the way I would do it. I'd spend a little more time and I might even do it under a um, dissecting microscope. But then the next step will be to take the slide and then we're going to have to put another slide on top of it to flatten the insect somewhat. But we don't want to squish it completely, otherwise it's going to destroy all of the characteristics. But we want to keep it a little flat. So what I devised was just taking an index card, uh, like a 3 by 5 index card, and uh, cutting it into small sections that will fit at the end of each of these, of the end of a slide like that one. Right, you take another one. And an index card is about two tenths of a millimeter in thickness. I measured it. So if you take an index card, like uh, just a regular three by five or five by seven index card, you can place it on the end of the slide like that. Right, there you go. Then you'll take a second slide like this, and we can place it on top of the other one very carefully. And you'll notice as I go down, it'll squish it a little bit like that. Okay. Once we have the insect between these two pieces of the glass, I have these clips. If you see these clips here like this, let me just use the difference. less for magnification. I have these clips, really small clips. Place one on one end, like that, and one on the other end. That will hold it in place during the dehydration process. So now we have the insect held in place so it's not going to move. It crushed it a little bit, but you can see the space there. That will be adequate space for dehydrating. We will put it into a vial that I previously prepared of 70% alcohol. This one will be 70%. Put it in like that. You can check to make sure there's no bubbles on it. That's what I do. I just make sure there's no bubbles there. Tap it, drop it in there just to move the bubbles. Leave it in there for 24 hours. And then transfer it to the 90. And then transfer it to the 100. Now, the what I did was I took the 3x5 card. And I cut it into what I call shims. They're two tenths of a millimeter thickness. You can stack them if the insect is thicker. 
you can stack them. Sometimes you don't have to use any at all, or sometimes you can use thinner ones. If you take aluminum foil, like from kitchen wrap, that's even thinner. You can measure the thickness, or you can find these really thin, really thin pieces of aluminum. I don't even know what this is from. Uh, you can stack them that way. But again, this is trial and error. If you, um, you know, don't use one at all, there's a chance that you will crush the um, insect beyond recognition. You don't want to do that. But you want to hold it in place so that the dehydrating process can occur. So that's right. Okay, so um, once you have reached 100%, the next step will be to transfer the microscope slide into xylene. And this is where it gets a little tricky because, as I had mentioned before, the toxic nature of xylene. Um, if anybody is going to use xylene, it's an excellent clearing agent. It has to be handled properly. I always do it outside where the ventilation is uh, adequate and I use the activated charcoal filter mask, face mask that I explained to you before. Don't wanna take any chances with the xylene. So uh, as I had mentioned before, with the uh, insect here, when you are manipulating the slide, the insect on the slide, you can take these 30 gauge needles, right? And you can actually move the limbs or move the wings etc etc you can turn the head so you can see the mouth parts and the jaws sometimes the legs are trapped underneath the insect usually they're trapped underneath the insect um, they're not always uh, presentable so you have to do that for and here's an example here the fly I took the um, legs and pulled them out so you can see the legs with this fly it's a blowfly my the, what I was most interested in were the mouth parts. Blowflies have very, very interesting mouth parts, uh, which are easily seen if they are presented properly. So my recommendation is when you make a slide is to use either a dissecting microscope under very low power to manipulate the limbs if you can't see them very well, or uh, just use a pair of uh, the binocular like uh, or these magnifying like glasses that I use this is what I use most of the time and that uh, that is about the extent of what I want to say there so uh, with the xylene I have several steps I call them you know like I have like seven steps it's actually excessive but since I've put so much time and effort into making these slides, it's important to me that I don't um, ruin the slide because I haven't uh, given it sufficient time in the xylene. When you go from the 100% alcohol to the xylene, you're going to get some cloudiness appear, which because the xylene and the alcohol are immiscible, I forget that's the right term, they don't mix properly. so. The xylene removes all the fat from the specimen. The alcohol removes the water. So I go from 100% alcohol to xylene, and then I go from xylene number one to xylene number two, because the first xylene may be contaminated slightly with some alcohol. Xylene step number two, less so, and less so, and less so. By the time I get to step number six, it's pure 100% xylene, and hopefully all of the fat has been removed from the insect itself. Another thing with the um, insects, you take something like a spider, 
Let's do this with the spider here. I'm gonna take the spider. The spider has a fat body on it. And uh, you, how do you get rid of that material in the fat body? Well, we're gonna put the spider in there like that. That's right. And I am going to express, I'm going to squeeze the body of the spider to get rid of the, you will notice here. There, you see that disgusting stuff that came out? That's all digested flies and everything. And you just squeeze it out like that. And you can take a, a pipette and kind of rinse it. Anyway, I don't want to take too much time doing this, but you get the idea. The idea is that you have to squeeze out the innards. Um, prior to mounting it between the slides. And you may have to do that with a lot of the insects. There we go. There you go. Get that goo out of there. I've probably done some body damage, but. So here we have a spider now that's been basically cleaned of its interior goo ready to mount on the slide. You can actually see through it now, you see? So I'm not going to bother showing you how I did, how we mount that on a slide, but um, you once you put that on a glass slide, you can rearrange the limbs. Okay, we'll go to the next video.